Absurd testimony. Meg shocked as Dan Wooten spills her bribing Omid Scoby $100,000 to lie in Harry's hacking course. Recently on his personal page, Dan Wooten pointed out the absurdities in Omid Scobie's testimony during Harry's trial. Since then, many people have raised the suspicion that the Sussexes have bribed him to lie. Harry and Meghan biographer Omid Scobie claimed yesterday that he was shown how to hack phones while on work experience at a Red Top newspaper. He said he was also given a list of celebrities' mobile numbers, but never accessed their voicemails because it seemed completely immoral. Mr. Scobie also angrily insisted that he is not the Sussex's friend, mouthpiece, cheerleader, or anything, as he gave evidence at the High Court for the Prince. In a dramatic clash, he denied having a vested interest in the Duke of Sussex's case against the newspaper publisher for alleged phone hacking. As he took to the witness box, the author of Gushing biography Finding Freedom repeatedly dismissed suggestions that his sympathies lay with Harry. The Duke and others are suing Mirror Group newspapers, publisher of the Daily Mirror, Sunday Mirror, and The People, over stories they claim were the result of phone hacking or other legal information gathering. The paper, of course, denies the claims. The court heard that when he was a journalist student in 2002, Mr. Scoey did work experience at the Daily Mirror, where he has claimed he witnessed then-editor Piers Morgan being told that a story about Kylie Minogue had come from voicemails. Mr. Scoey claimed he overheard the conversation between the editor and the woman who ran his three young girls' showbiz column, with whom he was captivated. The royal journalist also said that when he did work experience at the people a few weeks earlier, he had been given a list of celebrities' mobile phone numbers and shown how to access their voicemails. He had been taken aback by what seemed completely immoral and I never carried out that task. Mr. Scobie suggested that he had never incorrectly created a false memory or knowingly fabricated one. The newspaper Casey Andrew Green put it to him, Mr. Scobie, this incident did not happen, did it? No journalist would have asked you, a student intern during one week, to hack phones. You would be surprised at what happens, adding that he took offense at the suggestion. Mr. Green said Mr. Scobie was close to Harry and Meghan and this is his career and it had benefited from his unrivaled access to the couple, who were the subject of his relentlessly flattering 2020 book, Finding Freedom. Mr. Green said, You have a vested interest in helping the Duke of Sussex if the opportunity arises now, don't you? Mr. Scobie, editor-at-large at magazine Harper's Bazaar and a royal contributor to ABC News and Good Morning America, hit back, No, because what I'm doing now is giving ammunition to tabloids to call me his friend. I have never socialized with him. I am literally a member of the press doing my job. I am called friend, mouthpiece, cheerleader, whatever. Well, my approach is no different to any other royal correspondent having an area of focus, except that I don't tear them down. Mr. Scobie was challenged over how closely he worked with Harry and Meghan on finding freedom. In a witness statement he gave to the High Court in 2020 during a case fought by Meghan against the Mail on Sunday over a letter she had written to her father, Mr. Scobie insisted the Duke and Duchess had not directly cooperated with his book. Mr. Green suggested that Mr. Scobie had deliberately omitted from his witness statement that Harry and Meghan had collaborated on the book via their press spokesman, to which the author retorted, Are you saying the royal family is collaborating with the press every time a question goes to a communications aide? In the first week of the seven-week trial, the court was told Prince Harry is a very long way from providing or proving outlandish allegations he was the victim of hacking by a mirror publisher. The newspaper group branded parts of the Duke of Sussex's case as ambitious and unrealistic and beset with utterly non-existent evidence. Harry and three others alleged that they were targeted by journalists at the mirror titles during an industrial-scale period of unlawful information gathering, including phone hacking in the 1990s and the early 2000s.